Hi, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. Now, your dump valves on your RV are typically not the most pleasant place to be hanging around, but that's where I am today. We plan on doing some winter camping this season at several different ski resorts. And even though the Arctic package on our trailer keeps most of our water systems fairly well freeze-proof, these dump valves are a huge risk. Notice how they extend down and outward from outside of our insulated underbelly. What we plan to do today is keep these from freezing by, by frost proofing or winter proofing these dump valves. So stick around and learn how to do this yourself on this episode of Grand Adventure. Now we're only going to need several different products to achieve our objective today. First and foremost is the pipe heating cable. We went with the Wrap-On brand rather than some of the more common brands like what you find at Home Depot, simply because Wrap-On uses significantly less energy. In this case, on a three foot length, it's only using six watts. We also have some foil backed pipe wrap insulation and foil tape, the kind used for uh, duct sealing. Uh, now, as always, we're gonna list uh, links to each of these products on Amazon down below so that way you can find these things readily in order to do this yourself. Now two things I didn't mention in our parts list I didn't mention because you commonly have them laying around the house and that is aluminum foil and PVC tape or common electrical tape. Now the reason that we're using the aluminum foil is I'm sure you realize PVC plastic is a very poor conductor of heat. So we're going to use the aluminum foil to provide an even heating from the heat tape around the pipe. Now our next step is to take the heat tape and use the electrical tape, the good generous piece here, to actually anchor the, flat, the heat tape onto the pipe with the flat side down. Now all we will do is simply wrap the heat tape around the pipe, leaving at no more than 12 inches of space between each wrap. And we're going to take the PVC tape and anchor that in several different locations. Now I'm using one single three foot length of heat cable for both the black and the gray tank valves. So I've just come over from the gray to the black line and I'm wrapping this up so that way we're covering both. And I'm gonna try and leave this thermostat and controller outside the insulation.
there. That looks pretty dang good. Now, just to be on the safe side, let's test this again. Yep, we're good. Now let's move on to the next step, which is actually insulating the entire assembly. Now we have our heat source, but now we also have to have a way to keep it in. And that's where this foil-backed insulation comes in handy. Now this stuff is made of fiberglass, so you really do want to be wearing gloves while you're working with it. But we're going to anchor a piece here, and we're simply going to wrap this around our entire assembly. This stuff does fall apart pretty easily, so you may have a little bit of a hassle working with it. But we're going to be cleaning it up when we're done anyway with the foil tape. So you don't have to get too bent out of shape about it. In addition to the gloves, honestly, a uh, face mask is probably not a bad idea either. Now we're going to wrap all of this in the foil tape. Not only to try and keep it in place, but also to weatherproof it. I really should be using gloves here right now, but I'm not behaving. Now that I have everything all wrapped up, the last thing I'm going to do is cable tie the plug for the heat tape into a nice convenient yet out of the way spot. This hanger for my sewer pipe should do the trick quite nicely. And we're done. Okay, I thought I was done, but looking at this now, I'm really not fond of the flash of that foil. Looks like I'm barbecuing some salmon on the grill. I suppose I could spray paint it black, but instead, just to add one more layer of protection, I'm actually going to layer it up with some black duct tape. There, that's a whole lot better, certainly a lot less conspicuous. So now we have heat and insulation to keep our dump valves from freezing this winter while we're out winter camping. I hope this video has been useful to you. I hope you've appreciated the information. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. Uh, we hope you subscribe to come along on all of our grand adventures, either right here on the screen 
or on the red subscribe button on the YouTube page. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, remember life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.